Hi everyone, I'm Srishtika Neelakantam. Welcome back to Ableys Quick Bits. In this video, we learn about Ableys push notifications feature that's just been released in general availability. You can use this feature to send notifications to your mobile users or start up a background process even when your app isn't currently being used. Ably offers two ways of delivering push notifications to your mobile users through direct publishing and over the regular Ably channels you use. In direct publishing, you can have your servers directly publish a push notification as a REST request after having identified the device by device ID, client ID, or some other native recipient details such as transport type, which could be APNS or FCM, and depending on that, the device token or registration token. Contrary to that, when publishing push notifications over channels, you can simply distinguish a push notification from a regular message by adding a push payload that contains a title and a notification in the extras object of your message payload. We'll learn more about it in the later part of this quick bit. One thing to note here is that every device that wishes to receive push notifications must activate or register itself with the local operating system or framework and hook into the push notification services that the underlying platform provides. This functionality is platform specific and can also vary considerably across not just platforms, but also across the push services that operate on those platforms. Using Ably's client libraries, this complexity and platform specific behavior is completely abstracted away as there is a consistent API for device activation, maintenance of the device's registration, and even for your device's subscription to Ably's channels for receiving push notifications in case you use that strategy. This device registration can be done in two different ways. The first method is having the device directly register itself with APNS or FCM. This can be done by calling the activate method that's available in the Ably client library that you're using in your mobile app. The second method is custom registration via your app server. In this case, you can have your device send its credentials to your app server, which then registers the device on its behalf with the APNS or the FCM service. As you may have observed, once the device registration is done using either method, Ably stores your device's identifiers in its database to be able to identify them in the future for publishing push notifications. You can use Ably's Push Admin API to manage all of your device's registrations and subscriptions. Let's now have a quick overview of how the whole process of publishing push notifications via Ably works. Consider a scenario where you'd like to have one of your servers publish a notification to one of your devices. Your server would publish this notification using Ably's client library, which sends a message to Ably's servers. These servers then identify the previously registered device for which the notification is meant and forward this data along with the push message to the FCM or APNS depending on the device. These servers then deliver the notification to the required device. Simple as that. Now, as I previously mentioned, these notifications can either be published directly or over channels. Let's have a quick look at how this looks in reality. Starting with direct publishing using device ID, after having instantiated the Ably library, you can use the push admin API's publish method to fire away a notification to any number of devices. The content of the notification can have a title and a body that would appear in a visual format in the actual device. Apart from this in this notification object, you can also define any other platform specific fields like sound, icon, etc. The recipient in this example is identified by device ID. Instead, you can also identify the device by client ID as shown here or some other platform specific recipient details like so. Instead of directly publishing notifications, if you'd like to use existing channels to which your devices are subscribed to, you can simply specify an extras object and include all of your push notification details inside this object. Then when you publish a regular message with Ably on that channel, just include this extras object in the payload alongside your message data. In a real device, the notification that we just published would look like this. You can start sending push notifications to your devices now. Feel free to check out the full documentation or choose one of the many tutorials to implement this in your apps. All of the links are available in the description of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach us out at support at ably.io. We love to help. That's all for this Ably quick bit. See you all again soon with some other interesting info.